bayar bayar berapa persen yang kamu minta empat puluh persen Tenang mas, tenang mas. Iya iya, tenang ya mas. Enggak 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 jadi deh. Dua puluh persen. Lima persen. Lima belas persen deh. Lima. Dua belas tengah. Lima. Sepuluh. Lima persen. Michael, can I just say that? No, 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 no. No, this. Hey, 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 hey. This might not be what I think that I don't even know is in there because there are a lot of presents in my car and I don't know which is which. Suck on this. What the hell is that, Michael? That's. What do you mean? Hi everyone, we are from Group 6 and we like to show you and tell you more about Chapter 12 which is Recognizing Employees' Contributions with Pay. But before that, we need to introduce ourselves first. We are from Group 6 and our group consists of Dimas Putrazi, Abdul Rahman and Pemata Dinda and also our lecturer Dr. Nova Mardiana S.A.M.S. We are coming from Economic and Business Faculty, University of Lampung. To start with, we need to know first the learning objectives for this chapter. First, to discuss how pay influences individual employees and describe three theories that explain a fact of compensation of individuals. Second, describe the fundamental pay programs for recognizing employees' contributions to organization success. Third, list the advantage and disadvantage about this pay program. And the last one is explain the importance of process issues such as communication and compensation management. Please. So, how does pay influence individual employees? Pay plans are typically used to energize, direct, sustain, or to control the behavior of current employees. We refer to the effect of pay plans of current employees as an incentive effect. Most employees compare their own pay with bad others, especially those in the same job. Three additional theory also have to explain composition effect, such as reinforcement, expectancy, and agency theory. We're going to discuss about three additional theories. First, we're going to discuss about reinforcement theory. E. L. Thorndike's Law of Effect states that a response followed by a reward is more likely to occur in the future. The implication for compensation management is that high employee performance by a monetary reward will make future high performance more likely. The second theory is expectancy theory. The theory that says motivation is a function of balance, instrumentality, and expectancy. This theory is focuses on the link between rewards and behavior. It emphasizes expected rather than experience the rewards. In other words, it focuses on the effect of incentives. There are four steps of it, which is first balance perceptions, and then instrumentality link between behaviors and pace, and then increase motivation and performances, and also increase the performance. And the last one is agency theory. There are four things that we need to know about agency theory. First, principle. In agency theory, principle is a person or an owner who seeks to direct another person's behavior. And then, agent or a person or a manager who... should an organization use. First is risk aversion. It is among the chance makes outcome oriented contract likely. The second one is outcome uncertainty, which is profit is an example of an outcome. Third, measurable job outcomes, which is when outcomes are more measurable, outcome oriented contracts are more likely. The fourth one is job programmability. 
as jobs become less programmable, less routine outcome oriented contract. And the last one is ability to pay and tradition. And then we're going to discuss about program recognizing contribution, which is a program driver by payment method, payout frequency, and ways of measuring performance. Potential consequences include employees, performance, motivation, and attraction, culture, and cost. And then we're going to discuss about program recognizing contribution, which is a program driver by payment method, payout frequency, and ways of measuring performance. Potential consequences include employees, performance, motivation, and attraction, culture, and cost. Individual incentive. Like merit pay, individual incentive reward individual performance, but with two important differences. First, payments are not all into the base pay. They must be continuously earned and re-earned. Second, performance is usually measured as physical output such as number of water, process, dodges, rather than by subjective methods. Individual incentive have the potential to significantly increase performance. Mark and his colleagues found that monetary incentive increased by profit sharing and ownership. Profit sharing is a compensation plan in which payments are based on a measure of a in performance or profit and do not become part of the employee based on salary. But in ownership is the Employee ownership is similar to profit sharing in some key respects, such as encouraging employees to focus on the success of the organization as a work. In fact, with ownership, this focus may be even stronger. Like profit sharing, ownership may be less motivational the larger the organization. Managerial and executive pay. Because of their significant ability to influence organization performance, top managers and executives are a strategically important group whose compensation warrants special attention, including its competitiveness in the labor market. Business magazines such as Forbes and Bloomberg Business Work often publish lists of top executives who did the most for their pay and those who did the least. Employee Participation in Decision Making Consider employee participation in decision making and its potential consequences. Involvement in the design and implementation of pay policies has been linked to higher pay satisfaction and job satisfaction. Presumably because employees have a better understanding and a greater commitment to the Finally, we're on the end of our video. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a nice day and see ya.